First rule in this world, baby, don't pay attention to anything you see in the news. Yeah, yeah. Trey six hundo, three six double O. Trey six hundo, three six. Hired by thirty officers, probably like fifteen or ten of them will make it. But you one day I was in the chat hall, you know. I got down, I don't eat my chat, and I'm a, I'm a beast. I'm a beast. I'm the nigga. So uh, I was sitting at the table having a meeting with some of my crib homeboys. But what this officer don't know, he's new. He's being trained, and. In his training, all he's taught is to have power. Never let the inmate run shit. Never. You run it. You're the officer. You're in control. Once you lose control, you lose everything in this hole. When it comes down to inmate. Well, anyway, I'm at the table having a meeting. Now, I got shout out to Lieutenant Brown. Sergeant Little. Shout out to Sergeant Little. He was Sergeant Little right now. I heard Sergeant Little, Captain Little now. God damn, he probably earned that motherfucker. But Sergeant Little, he was Sergeant Little at the time. But anyway, um, but Sergeant Little knew what time it was. Understand me? I'm having my meeting, my little crib meeting in the child hall, and there were all crib niggas standing around. And so the, the, the new rule, the new boot came over there, and I guess he wanted to test his um, orientation. Right. <laughs> That's what you call it? Because he's still in orientation, did I guess he wanted to test his orientation. You know, show him that he's good on the job, that he, he he's qualified for the job to the lieutenant them. But see, what the lieutenant them ain't telling him, and Sergeant Little them ain't telling him, <laughs> it's the whole motherfucking story, nigga. Uh, they'll tell y'all that in orientation. Why the fuck you think it started off with 25 officers hired and only five at the end of the motherfucking week? Right. You know why it's like that? Cause they didn't tell y'all the whole motherfucking story, nigga. If they told y'all everything they supposed to tell y'all, y'all would've hurry up and bitch, y'all would've threw that application in the trash. You wouldn't even feel that motherfucker out. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, make a long story short, when the law walked over, he said, he said, you, shut your mouth and finish eating. <laughs> y'all hear the new boot? <laughs> New boo trying to stir it up, goddamn me. I said, say, I said, man, you better go on. He said, hey, matter of fact, get up, get your train, get out. He's an African dude. I said, man, you better, hey, man, you better go on, man. Hey, you, give me your ID. He said, give me your ID, give me your ID. My ID was in my pocket. I said, you want my ID? You want my ID? I said, shit, it's right here, come get it. Come get it. Officer, come get, come get this right here in my pocket. Come get it, bitch. You want my ID? Come get it. Come get it. Yeah. So he's looking around. That's how I was. And they supposed to show right then that, that he was about that. When he didn't bite that worm on the hook, bitch, you fucking with the wrong nigga. You fucking with the wrong nigga. All I got to do is wave a hand or wink an eye or, or do a head like this, and these young niggas will beat the shit out of you in here, nigga. They'll beat the shit. So guess what he did? He called back up. He got on the walk and talking. And you call me, hey, we need help over here. Da, 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 da. And here come all these motherfucking police running. Right. The leader of the pack was Sergeant Little. Sergeant Little come running down the aisle, goddamn, we sit here waiting. And that's when this law found that that you have a dangerous job. I heard him call the code. Bam. I got my tray. I stood up and I started walking out. I said, fuck you, this one to go. For all these motherfuckers come down here running. He said, no, 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 we don't care about you now. Either give me your ID. I kept walking. He kept walking on side of me. Tell yeah. me, give me your ID, give me your ID. I got my tray, I'm finna gonna empty my tray. I got up to the trash can. Okay, okay. I don't want Trey, I don't want Trey to miss this, this, this last intro on this motherfucker. But say y'all, it's real like that. It's a power struggle in that motherfucker every day. Them laws right there will put you on your eyes. Them laws will kill you in there. The first time you don't mind one of them motherfuckers to do something they don't want you to do or, or you do something, uh, they feel like you disrespecting them, they'll hurt you in there, hoe. They'll down there kill a nigga in that bitch. Uh.
but I'm going to run this tail because I'm almost out of tail. I'm almost out of thing. I got a, a time to say, man, but um, shout out to Trey 600, man, for keeping it 100. But anyway, this law, Trey 600, he followed me all the way to the trash can where I'm going to put. So I got my hand on my tray like this. I'm walking to the trash can. When I get to the trash can, he makes the rookie mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the biggest rookie mistake. I got to the thing. He say, hey, give me your ID. Man, I know this motherfucker just didn't touch me. I know this nigga didn't. So I go to take my trash and I empty my tray out from the trash. When I go to empty the tray, I come up with it and I, ah! I hit that hoe right in his motherfucking face with that hoe. Bitch, don't you never put your hand on me, hoe. That hoe said, ooh! By this time, all the police came running through the... He said, hey, hey, he, 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 he hit me. 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 I know it, bitch. Uh. I'm like, what's up? When the law see who it is and see the and see the crab, the niggas that's with me, you know what he went to say? He said, what's going on, Demerson? I said, say, man, I'm over there having my meeting, trying to get some things in order that the captain got me got t discussing with my guys to stop some shit from going on on another block. Uh, he come over and interrupt telling me to finish eating. He ain't gonna push that time I give me my ID and shit like that. He gonna call a code. I go up to walk. This bitch gonna grab me by my shit. Talking about give me my ID. He said, what? He did what? I said, yeah. That hoe grabbed me by my shirt. Talking about give me my ID. And I slap his ass with that tray. I bust him right across the fucking head with that tray. He went over there. She said, no. She said, no. So now that the captain and the sergeant him in there. And uh, now I guess he think, you know, this way he gets to show his toughness. He said, now give me your ID. Give me your ID. I said, I'm a, then that's when he seen what's really going on, Ferguson. Right in front of New Sergeant Little and all of them. I said, let me tell you something, bitch. I said, like I told you a while ago, sitting at that table, if you want this motherfucker, come and get it. I said, see what they not telling you. Look at Sergeant Little. Look at it. Look at Sergeant Little, bitch. Why you sitting there trying to act bad? Don't you see Sergeant Little got a black eye, his goddamn self hole? <laughs> Started sitting there with his goddamn. He ain't said a motherfucking thing, bitch. Why you think you you steady for to get your ass beat up in this hoe, nigga? You better get your bitch ass somewhere and sit down, bitch. They don't run this unit. We do, ho. That's what they didn't tell y'all when they got y'all in here and started working y'all. They don't run shit, nigga. We run Ferguson, ho. The inmates. You know why we run it? Cause we let y'all go home every day, nigga. We make sure that y'all come home and you get to go back home to your children every day. We make sure motherfuckers in here, they got life sentence that ain't never going at this motherfucker and depressed like a motherfucker. Make sure that you get to go home safe to your children every day. Working around motherfuckers that ain't never going home. Working around motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about you, bitch. You free. Guess what? They not. They don't give a fuck about you, nigga. They'll kill you in that bitch. Where you gonna send them? <laughs> to prison? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Y'all didn't hear that part, did you? Yeah, I'ma let you soak in that for a minute. Yeah, what you gonna do when he come in there and they kill one of you guys? What you gonna do? Send him to the penitentiary? They already there. Stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, that's just a message for all you laws that like to go inside the system and uh try to do more than your nine to five. Uh, I learned something from one police. You know what he called me to say? He said, Demons. Talk to you, man. This man don't never talk to me. And he don't never fuck with me. He don't never say nothing. I say, man, what's up, man? You cool in the motherfucker, man. You don't fuck with nobody. He say, I know it. No black law. Cool him up. Don't say like you just be laid back doing job. Open the door, let people in. Close the door, lock the door. Unlock the door, let people out. Come back in, close the door, like that's your job. You the turnkey. Uh, it ain't no open the door. Hey, come here. Come here, go in there and shave that shit. Hey, come here. Hey, you, get over here. Sit over here. No, uh, give me the ID. I'm going to write you a case, nigga. Some of them go to work out there now. And I asked him, I said, say, man, why you don't, you don't fuck with nobody? Hey. Yes, ma'am. I'm right here, mama. I'm letting cool out of here. But um, uh, I told him, I said, you don't you don't mess with nobody. And uh, he was like, um, I know, like, why? 